We want to get back to this exclusive interview with Kevin Love, uh, whose fund helped educate so many in our area schools on mental health. And Monica Robbins is there. You got a chance, Monica, to talk to him this afternoon. This is huge. Tell us more. You know, the message today is it's okay to talk about things. It's okay to be vulnerable. Kevin Love used that word several times when he gave that surprise visit to the teachers and the students who were here today for this event. You know, he grew up at a time like many of us who had a dad who pushed him to toughen up and deal with it. But by the time he hit middle school, his mental health started to be effective, and he's not alone. Most kids go years before they're diagnosed with an issue because it's not something we frequently talk about. Now, the Kevin Love Fund is trying to change the narrative, and Kevin says it all starts at home. When I have kids and Kate and I have kids, that um, those things will be discussed because kids should be allowed to be vulnerable, and I think it's a, you know, a new age of being able to open up and, and you know, be stronger because of it. You know, I think it's really important for people to understand one in five Americans have anxiety disorder. That's according to the National Alliance on Mental Health. And the pandemic left one in three people dealing with anxiety or depression, not to mention the staggering numbers of people who turned or returned to substance use disorder. Now, the curriculum today that, that was part of the Kevin uh, Love Fund is invaluable. And organizers, again, say that they have every intention of making this an annual event, and I have no doubt Kevin Love will be behind that 100%. Back to you, Laura. And he is doing such amazing things in this community, and I know so many people are impacted by him as well. Monica, thanks.